Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I am Tiffany from Journey With Us. And as you can tell by the title, I am talking about how my husband made me quit my job about four years ago. So if you're tuning in right now, you know this is the business series. If you're new here, click subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you can get all the marketing and business tips I'm going to tell you right now. So four years ago, I was working at Chase Bank. And I worked there for two months before quitting after my dad passed away because I wanted to start freelance writing and creating revenue for myself and our family so that we could live out our dreams. If you're new here, we actually live in Tanzania, Africa, and we travel a lot while making money um, digitally. So we're dig digital nomads. So I'm a copywriter and when I started freelancing, I would pitch myself to job boards. So there's a website called Pro Blogger. If you want to be a writer, you can go on there and pitch yourself to job boards. I started writing for um, like news companies and I would get these little checks in the mail y'all like $60. But I was so excited because I was actually making money from something that wasn't a job. And I got to a point where I was learning social media marketing via HubSpot and I was taking different inbound marketing courses and starting my Instagram business profile, LinkedIn. Um, I started my blog. And then I got to a point where I had to decide if I wanted to keep going and go in this for a long haul, for the long haul or if I wanted to actually go back and work for a company because there comes a point when you start an online business or business in general where you start to wonder, can I even do this? Is it even worth everything that I have to put into it? And I saw an ad for a company called Pfizer and it is a financial institution. They paid like $16 an hour, which was about the same salary I was making at Chase Bank, and it just seemed like an easy, okay, paycheck. I know I'm getting this much every week. And my husband said to me, no, don't do it. I even went in for the interview and I was offered the job. And my husband said, no, don't do it. Just focus on what you've been doing with freelancing. And this was about four, three years ago? About three years ago. And so I decided to stay focused and to keep doing my social media marketing, to keep going on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, putting myself out there. I continued to blog and to create my email list. And I ended up from that time four years ago until now experiencing $10,000 months and creating revenue for our family to be able to travel the world. I'm telling you this story so that you know that you can keep going. It will be difficult because business, the shift from being a worker to creating a thriving business is difficult and you have to be in it for the long haul. But the one piece of advice that I want to give you is that if you don't quit, you can't fail. And that was like a pivotal shift for me when I realized that if I just keep going and I keep doing what I'm doing and I keep refining my message and I keep learning and I keep attracting the right clients and hiring my prices, then I would be able to attract the right market that can afford my services and I would be able to reach my goals and our family's goals. So this is your sign to keep going. I know it looks difficult going in different Facebook Facebook groups, going on LinkedIn, trying to market yourself on Instagram, trying to do all these different things, but it's going to pay off. And I recommend, some people will tell you, just go on one social media site and just practice your marketing on there. I wouldn't advise that. I would advise you to go on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, your blog. I would advise you to have three to four different outlets because when one um, messes up and that will happen, like my Instagram was hacked, a few weeks ago, but I still have clients, even though a lot of my clients came from Instagram, I still have other places that I've built my brand and I've built my network. So if you're starting right now, go ahead and go into Facebook at least. Um, they are changing some things. So if, if you saw that they're going to be called Meta now, maybe not Facebook, you make that decision for yourself. Definitely LinkedIn if you're a service-based entrepreneur, definitely that one. Definitely Instagram. You can create blogs on Medium. That's something I did when I started. And one of my blogs way back then, four years ago, was featured on one of the biggest business platforms for email marketing. So that's where I got a lot of my authority. And if you're wondering how you can get your audience to trust you when you're starting out, I recommend blogging. 
you can even go on Fiverr and have people blog for you and ghostwrite your content so that when they see your website, you already have blogs about your industry expertise. And that basically helps you to get new clients because people obviously won't trust you in the beginning. But if you're already writing content about your expertise, they're more likely to trust you. And that's actually where my first client came from. $500 per month, social media marketing. She signed up to be a client and requested to work with me, requested to send me money to do this service for her because she saw that I wrote a very good blog on social media marketing. So that is my tip for you today. Re please remember, if you don't stop, you can't fail. So that means keep going no matter what. Even if it looks hard, even if you're tired of going on podcasts, even if you're tired of writing, even if you don't like taking e-courses, keep learning, keep going because it's going to pay off. And five years down the line, which is where I am now, I'm glad that I went out and marketed myself on these different platforms because when you build your business like that, you increase your visibility and when you increase your numbers, you have a better likelihood of attracting more clients. Now you don't want to attract any type of client because I don't just work with any type of client. I'm very specific in who I work with. As a service-based company, you want to attract the right clients. So I hope this gave you motivation and encouragement. Please take this tip, like please just get started, do it now. If you don't do it now, you're just wasting time and wasted time turns into not living your life and creating goals and living out your goals. So take these tips, don't give up, get started now, get started even when you feel like you don't have enough expertise, take some e-courses, write some blogs, read some books, um, like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel if you would like more business and marketing content. Leave a comment down below and let me know what questions you have about starting your online business. Would you like to see more content about how to get clients on LinkedIn? Would you like to see more content about how to do social media marketing? Or would you like to see more content about copywriting, which is what I do? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Until next time.